welcome back to my channel this is Christine and this is the beginning of a new stitching vlog now I'm recording this clip right here uh, on November 11th because at the end of this video I promised to come in here and well I sort of promised to come in here and show my face because I haven't actually shown my face in a video for a while admittedly it's just so much easier <laughs> to just film my stitching and also the back my back camera is so much sharper and has a better image than my front camera front facing camera but that being said i'm here filming an intro i don't know if i'm going to actually film an outro like i promise uh because what i'm going to do right after this is um after i film this intro i'm going to uh do the first clip of my november vlog <laughs> so get started with that and I only have a little bit of time. So uh, let's get started. But first, coffee. Today, today's coffee is brought to you by Starbucks Holiday Blend. My husband bought me a big box of it at Costco. So let's go do that now. Yum, coffee, coffee in my snowman mug. Um, okay, so what I wanted to say is that you're going to see a vlog that starts uh, the beginning of September and goes up until pretty much this morning when I ended it. Yeah, it kind of went on a little bit long, but uh, I won't spoil it. I'm going to just let you get into that. But at the end, I said that there was something I was forgetting to say and I couldn't think of what it was and I knew that the minute I stopped recording the video I would remember and I did remember and it doesn't have anything to do with stitching I just wanted to let you know in case you see a video come up here in between probably I don't know I'm gonna to try to work on it soon but um, I, I filmed my mom when I was at her house making these fried peppers that I grew up with now um, I tried to look on the internet to see if anybody showed how to make those so I always, we just called them dried fried peppers, but um, I think they actually have a name when I did some research and it's called like pepperoni cruci. And I don't know, it's just kind of like this um, uh, snack that I grew up with. My grandma always made them. We just, at every event we had, because so as a refresher, my grandma and grandpa on my mom's side are, are full Italian. So my mom's full blooded Italian, so I'm half Italian. And my dad was Welch and English, so I'm half Italian, half Welch English. And um, anyway, we had these fried peppers, and my mom was making some. And it's funny, it's, those have always been at, like, every event I ever had growing up, you know, on my mom's side of the family. And uh, I just filmed her making them because I thought, you know what? Nobody on the Internet is, that I can find shows how to make these peppers. Um, anyway, I won't go into it much now. But if you see a video show up on my channel about my mom making some fried peppers, uh, fried dried peppers that's what that's about <laughs> so maybe I, I can talk her into uh maybe recording her doing some uh, making some italian cookies this christmas um she loves to make pizzelles so maybe i'll get a video of her doing that too okay that being said um oh i was gonna say so this shirt this is a shirt it says colorado wild and my little brother made it so he has it i shouldn't call him my little brother He's my younger brother. I mean, we're both in our 50s. He just turned 50, and I'm older than just 50. Uh, so anyway, he has an Etsy shop, and he makes uh, designs t-shirts, and he does a lot of Colorado t-shirts, um, you know, just kind of like these kinds of things. And But he also does some fly fishing, uh, fly fishing t-shirts. Uh, he does some hockey shirts, um, a lot of the things that his his boys and, stuff, and him are into. Um, Anyway, I just thought I would give him a shout out in case you're looking for that perfect Christmas gift, that perfect t-shirt. He's got a lot of kind of humorous shirts too. Uh, his store is called 5281. And so that's kind of a play on the fact that we live in Colorado, in Denver, which is the mile high city, which is 5280 feet high. But our house number growing up was 5281. So he kind of threw in our house number and our altitude <laughs> in his store name, which I thought was kind of cute. 
So anyway, I'll link it below in case you're looking for a t-shirt uh, for a fan of Colorado or hockey or um, baseball. There's some baseball shirts in there too. So yeah, lots of interesting shirts. So I'll put that link below and hmm, I think, man, I need a haircut. Do I say that in like every video? Okay, I gave myself a haircut and I did kind of some weird stuff back there in the back. But um, I think that's it. I think that this video is already going to be about an hour. So I think you're here for the stitching. So let's get to the stitching. And I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to start recording the beginning of my next vlog. And talk about what my plans were, are. So, okay, enough, enough rambling. I'm not going to, you're not going to see me again at the end of this video, like I promised. So uh, that's it. Unless I think of something to say. But um, okay enjoy the vlog it goes on and on and on hello my stitching friends it is the beginning of september and i am so happy that you decided to stop by and join me today as i start a new vlog for september it's september 3rd and i just finished recording the last installment of my august vlog and that's being edited now but you will have long gone seen that by now, um, but I thought I would go ahead and get started with the September vlog because it's so much easier to keep going if I have a beginning clip. So I'm going to uh, just refresh your memory. I haven't done any stitching today, but I wanted to refresh your memory as to where I left off with this Lenart kit. In my last vlog, I said I was going to continue stitching on this, but that was just this morning that I said that, and I haven't actually done any stitching yet. But this is what I do, one of the pieces that I hope to continue working on this month. Beyond that, I don't have any uh, real specific plans. I had mentioned in my last video that um, Fiber Artsy is doing a sal, a hashtag called September Spooky Small Sal, I believe is what it is. And so I would like to participate in that. And... I have not decided exactly which which project I might do for that. I was thinking about doing another one of these ghosts. So that is um, one of the potential new starts for that. So we'll see. Either that or I was really eyeing in this month's... Actually, there were quite a few that I was eyeing in this month's issue. But let's go to the back and I'll show you which one I was really kind of thinking about doing. So if I, if I run out of time, I might do maybe that cat right there. I think that one's cute as a real quick one. But this is the one right here that I would really like to do. So maybe I'll get a start on that. But don't hold me to it. There's actually quite a few really cute ones in this magazine. I did consider stitching that one right there, too. Looks kind of cute, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I will have to see where the month goes and how much stitching time I have. Uh, the other potential... Oh, I forgot. I do have this one, too. Spooky Gate. Ooh, maybe I'll save that for October. That looks like a good October stitch. Um because I'm kind of more into just like the fall colors right now, not necessarily Halloween. I mean, I'm always into Halloween, but I think maybe I'll save October for doing the really Halloween stuff and just stick to some sort of fall harvest kind of stitches in September. So, because I just can't help myself, I got a couple more new Mill Hill kits. But I'm dying to start this one right here. It's called Fall Leaves, and I think it's... It's an older one, 2009, I think. Could potentially be from 2009. It's the series that was released with all of these other ones here. So uh, that's a potential start. And then this one, because I think this one would be so fun. With It's called Harvest Corn. And I think it would be so fun adding all the beads there for the corn. The only thing that I don't that I'm not thrilled about is that background, that kind of like that light blue background, or yeah, what is it, a blue kind of? It's all stitched. That whole entire background is stitched. 
So, I don't know. That looks like a lot of stitching of that same color. But if I add fabric to this and I'm able to put it in a Q-snap and I can do two-handed stitching, then I can probably get through that pretty quick. That's the only thing that's kind of preventing me from jumping right into this one. But these are all the colors and then it, it was released with all those other set, that other set right there. So those are just some potential runners up. Uh, but as usual, the month usually takes me in a complete different direction and I end up doing something completely different. That's not even to mention the works in progress that I have that I might pull out to work on too. So as you can tell, I don't really have a plan. Um, I think that's going to be it for this first clip uh, on September 3rd. I just wanted to get a starting point so we can see where we go. And I'll either check in um, several times throughout the month or if things get busy, I'll just check in at the end and talk about what I, what I ended up working on. All right, September's here already. Can't believe it. Okay, have a good stitchy day and I'll see you in the next clip. I've been sitting here in my backyard stitching for a few minutes and I was just noticing, okay, pardon my kind of dying grass, but I was just noticing right now how green everything is. So it's September 3rd and I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering at the end of my vlog how um, many of these leaves will have changed into their yellow color. So let's just take a look at this now. September 3rd and um, see how much of a change we get this month. Okay, just wanted to document that. You know, get a little feel of fall into the vlog. Good morning, Stitchers. It is Sunday morning, September 19th, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, checked in with you guys. Um, I'm not really sure what I said I was going to work on, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly because I don't have a lot of time this morning. I'm getting ready to leave and uh, I have a busy day ahead of me. But the only thing that I've worked on is this and look at how much I've gotten done on it. It's so pretty. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so let me think. The last time I showed you, I'm not quite sure where I was at, but I don't think I had any of this done. I don't think I had much of the, more of the house done. So I've just done a little bit more and then I've been working in this area right up here. And it's just these really soft colors, just one strand of thread and it's just been really enjoyable. I've had a lot of webinars to listen to so it's kind of just some mindless relaxing stitching that I've been doing when I listen to my, my webinars. So let me grab that picture, I mean, let me grab the picture again real quick here because I want to show you. So yeah, I'm working in this area just right up here with these really soft greens and yellows. And I think I'd like to just kind of get all of this done and then maybe when I get over to here, I, I don't know if I'm going to go down here and work my way over that way or if I'm just going to start working on the sunflowers and coming down this way. We'll see, whatever the mood takes me. Um, oh, actually, I'm not completely truthful when I said this is the only thing I worked on. I did work on uh, my tiny mill hill, the one that says rest in peace, RIP, with the little gravestones. Hopefully I showed that in the last clip. That's what I chose to do for my spooky September smalls, I think is the sow, which uh, I thought I would stitch that up really quick, but um, I'm still not uh, very far on that because this is the one that I've been really in the mood to work on. And I've only been carving out a little bit of time each morning to stitch and I haven't really been doing any stitching at night so yeah this is going to be a real quick update and um, not much to show other than this and we can go ahead and take a picture of the the trees to see if anything's starting to change we've had record high temperatures and not really cool nights yet we've had a couple of cool nights but the leaves are barely just starting to change a little bit. I see a few little spatterings of yellow, but not too much. I think we're going to be getting a cold front here in the next couple of days, so maybe the next time I check in we'll start noticing some. But it's just a beautiful temperature right now. Perfect for sitting outside. 
And um, the only other thing I did want to show is I got one of these little uh, clip um, chart holders and it just clips on to the Q-snap perfectly and it's just got all these little joints on it that you can, you know, hold your hold your pattern. So, yes, I'm showing the pattern, but it's just a very tiny little bit of the pattern. So I think that's probably okay to do. Um, but I did want to show you that I just kind of have it hanging there while I stitch. And it's kind of nice. You can bend it in any different directions. It has just a little clip on it and it turns. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty nifty, handy little thing. So... All right, that's all I have for now. I'm going to stitch for probably 30 minutes, and that's all I'm going to have today. So I could just sit out here for hours, though. But it's not going to happen. Okay, uh, I'll check in as soon as I have uh, time again, and maybe I'll have my little mill hill done by then. Okay, see you soon. Good morning, stitchers. Well, it has been quite some time since I last filmed a clip, and it's not September anymore. You may or may not have noticed that I didn't upload a vlog at the end of September, and it's because I just never got around to filming one. Oh, so it's October 13th right now, and I'm just showing you what I got done. I've pretty much only been working on this, but I haven't been stitching much, just in the mornings a little bit. But I am making a little bit of progress, and uh, I was just noticing that I was showing you the progress of the leaves and how they were going to be changing and it uh, looks a little bit different but it's a blustery day here we had a cold night last night but it's been staying pretty the temperature's been staying pretty nice but it's really windy and I'm not actually stitching out here right now I uh, just came out to record because I realized that yes those leaves might completely fall off if I don't get around to getting them getting it recorded so yes see the wind is picking up it is a beautiful day though it's um, a little bit chilly I've actually got a little kind of a little um, warm little jacket on and I'm drinking some hot chocolate today actually um, instead of coffee I had some coffee but now I'm drinking hot chocolate so let me take a sip okay very good so yeah I don't have much to show but um, I got all of the background done as you can see and the shed and now I'm getting ready to work into the more the sunflowers and then maybe the wheelbarrow. I don't have any plans going forward. Um, like I said we're already out through October and I just have been busy with a lot of other things and I wanted to show you though that you may remember I started this one and it's I started this way back a while ago and Normally these only take me one or two days to do, but <laughs> I'm just really taking my own sweet time on this. And now the sun is really shining bright, so there's a glare. But I have not gotten much done on this. I don't know what my deal is. I just haven't been, you know, I, I night I want to stitch, I pull it out, and then I just get really tired and I don't feel like stitching much. So that's all I've gotten done on that. So my goal is to get this one done by the end of October. But I had so many mill hills that I wanted to do, so many fall and Halloween related ones. And you know how it is, sometimes you just don't have the time or feel like stitching and I haven't really felt like doing anything except working on this one. So I'm just going to keep on working on it until I don't feel like it anymore. And that's, so it's been kind of boring. I haven't really had much to show or talk about. And that's why I decided I'm going to wait maybe till the end of October to upload my vlog. And if I still don't have much to show, I may not, you may not see me until November. But uh, let's see, is that all I needed to talk about? I think that's it. There just has not been going much going on in my stitching world. So I think that's all for now. I hope you guys are all having a nice fall. And, um, yeah, I should probably, yeah, actually, it's the 13th today, so I should put a few stitches in this for my dark 13 stitching. I just really need to get this done. You know, there's just not that much. It's small. So, yeah, I'll work on that maybe a little bit this evening if I'm not too tired. But I do have a busy day ahead of me, so I'm going to go get started, and uh, I will 
see you with an update soon and let you know what I've decided to do for the second half of October. All right, I'll just uh, to give you one last look at my trees before they completely turn and then my yard will be full of leaves. All right, see you later. Well, good afternoon, Stitchers. It has now reached October 23rd. And as you can see, I still have not uploaded this video. Um, but I wanted to come in here. It's the afternoon, it's a Saturday, and I just wanted to show you that the leaves are definitely starting to change. It's sort of a cloudy day. Um, but yes, I've got a couple of really pretty yellow trees in my yard. Still some that need to be changing. This tree right above me hasn't even really started. And we're actually going to have our, that tree trimmed here pretty soon. We're just waiting for um, the energy company to come and make it safe for him to get close to the power lines. So they need to come and do some trimming around the power lines and then he'll come and do the trees. So we haven't had that done in quite a few years, so definitely needs it. But let's get to the stitching. Okay, so uh, we've got in front of us here, this is my tombstone. And you're probably thinking I have it done and I don't. I haven't done much on it at all since that last clip. Um, I haven't worked on, I didn't even bring out my wheelbarrow and sunflower and wheelbarrow because I haven't done anything with that since the last clip either. So this is, um, I was working on this and then all of a sudden I had an urge to stitch on, I was looking through my Mill Hill kits um, trying to decide what I wanted to also do for Halloween and then I saw that I had, you know, the whole set of six of the sugar skulls. And I've been wanting to do that, and I don't know, the urge just hit me to work on this, so I started it and finished it. The only thing I have to do is still put the little hanging, the hanging hanger on it. But let's just zoom in and look at all of those colorful beads. So are cute because each of the six of them have a little different charm up there. Oh, I got a paper cut on my thumb and now you get to see that up close and personal. Um, okay, let's ignore that. Okay, so anyway, this is what the first one that I've done looks like and it really, really turned out cute. Um, I haven't done anything with the back yet, so it just looks like a mess until I add some felt on it and then add the hanger, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And can you believe I haven't even gotten my Halloween tree out yet? I've got no Halloween decorations except one. Um, and you can see I probably have leaves all over me because I decided to break down and buy one of those Halloween inflatables for the yard. I've never been a big fan of the inflatables, but I just saw a really cute one of just a pile of jack-o'-lanterns that one of my neighbors had. And so I ordered me one and that's probably gonna be the extent of my Halloween decorations this year so I just haven't felt it haven't felt I haven't felt the desire because I've been sort of busy but let's go back to the stitching again so after I finished that one I grabbed this one and decided that I was going to start this one next so this first one is just in case you aren't familiar with these they each come in a different color and this one of course is azul uh, Spanish for blue, I take it. Yes, I think that's right. Um, and then we've got this one, which is naranja, which is Spanish for orange. So I did start that one, and this is all I've gotten done on it so far. So I'm going to continue working on that a little bit. I don't know what my deal is with this one here. I just, every time I sit down, I, I just... I'm not feeling this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm so close to being done with it or getting to the beating part of it, so I, I need to work on that one. So I'm gonna try to finish this one up and then finish uh, another one of the sugar swells. I should really try to, there's a bug. I should. <laughs> All right, he's being stubborn. Come on, come on, get off of there. He doesn't want to. Okay, come on. There he goes. I need to just remember to make sure he doesn't come in the house with me, whatever that little bug is. <laughs> Stubborn little thing. 
Okay, so uh, that being said, sorry for that distraction. Let me get that bug off of me. I don't want him going into my house. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, I'm all over the board. So, yeah, maybe I'll bring you around front and show you my inflatable. It's not dark yet, but uh, you get, you'll get the gist of it. Just imagine it being lit up. So, all right, let's go do that. I need a cup of coffee. I'm very tired this afternoon. And I don't feel like doing anything, but I have a lot to do. But I really just want to sit and stitch. Okay, well, <laughs> that being said, I'm going to let this go before it rambles on too much farther. And I'll bring you out front and show you my inflatable. There's my beautiful tree. Look at that. We're having such a, a nice fall this year, and so the trees, the leaves have stayed on the trees for so long that it's, it's uh, they're actually turning into some really nice colors. But anyway, that's my little inflatable. Maybe I'll give a quick picture tonight when it's inflated. All right, here's my jack-o'-lantern inflatable, but let's stop and take a look at my gorgeous um, autumn blaze maple tree. We've had such a nice fall that the leaves have really stayed on the tree long enough to turn their beautiful color. All right, and there's my little jack-o'-lantern inflatable, and I'm going to maybe pop in here tonight and show you what it looks like when it's glowing. Alright, that's all for now. I just wanted to pop in here real quick on this really blustery October morning. It's October 27th today, so we're approaching the end of the month and my trees look beautiful. And I also wanted to show you that I finished my little cross stitching that I've been struggling with this month. It turned out so cute. I don't know what took me so long. Oops, I made I made the hanger real short on it because uh, for my Halloween tree when I hang it, I don't like it to be real, uh, you know, a real long hanger. So, just give you one more close up because we're it's really windy out here, and so it might be uh, blowing into my phone, which is kind of hard to listen to the wind sometimes but didn't that turn out cute I'm so excited I got it done just need to get the felt on the back so it doesn't have anything on that there but yep done and I haven't done anything else on the Naranja um, sugar skull so hopefully I'll be able to squeeze that finish in at the before the end of the month too all right one more view of my nice fall trees Well, I wanted to pop in here and show you that I finished all of the cross stitching on my next sugar skull. And it's still October. It's October 30th, so tomorrow's Halloween. And so today's Saturday. And I have to work a little bit this afternoon, but it's looking very promising that I'll be able to get the beading done on this before tomorrow. And I may even start a third one. So, just wanted to show you what it looks like before the beads. And another look at the trees. Slowly but surely, they're getting thinner. And my job of raking leaves doesn't look too overwhelming yet. Alright, I'll check in either later today or tomorrow and show you what I get done on this.
Okay, well, this seems to be the vlog that just keeps on going. It is now November 4th, and I was going to get this uploaded around Halloween. I can't remember in the last clip if I had finished one of the sugar skulls and started another, or I can't remember where I left off. But I have now three of them finished. So, yeah, I can't remember if I showed you these or not. So you might just have to look at them again. So is this the first one I did? I think this was the first one that I showed you. Then I think I did uh, did this one. I think I did this one second. Um, the Naranja. Uh, this is Rosa. Yeah, I think I did Rosa second. So Azul, Rosa, Naranja. And then I, I haven't put the felt on the back yet. Uh, then I started this one, which is Amarillo, and I've got this much done on it already. So I think I've got most of the cross-stitching done on it and need to do the beads. So the way I was thinking is that I didn't want to upload the vlog until I had all of these done because it may be a while before you see me again, and I just didn't want to leave you, leave you with a cliffhanger. So I'm going to continue this vlog until I have all six of them done because I'm really enjoying them and I do want to get all six of them done. So that's where we're at with that on November 4th and let's do a leaf status. Now my little tree over there is pretty much that one yes yeah, lost pretty much all of its leaves. They're all looking very sparse and then the tree above me is still a little bit thin and Monday they're coming to trim that so I have my work cut out for me here with this blanket of gold. So I'm going to recruit Riley to help me this weekend and we're going to get this taken care of. Good morning. It is, what day of the week is it? It's Thursday, November 11th. And I am just, I just woke up. You can probably tell from the sound of my voice. And I'm going to focus on getting the beading done on the sixth and final Mill Hill Calavera Sugar Skull. Um, I've got about half of the beading done, so it shouldn't take me too much longer, but I don't usually like to film in artificial light because, you know, it just doesn't really show stitching in all its glory, but I did want to pop in here because I didn't want to forget to mention a channel that I've been watching. And this channel is Cat Talks. She, I found her channel because she left a comment on one of my most recent Instagram posts, um, one of my Mill Hill, when I actually posted, yeah, I think it was actually one of the Sugar Skulls, and uh, she jokingly left a comment that her Mill Hill stash has doubled in size because of me, so I thought that was funny, and of course, immediately, I had to go find her channel and uh, see what she was stitching, so I watched her most recent video, and then I went back and watched all of her floss tube videos. She has about 16 floss tube videos. She has some, looks like maybe some reading videos before that. But her channel um, of, of late has been focusing on floss tube. So uh, what will you see cat stitching on her channel? Well, I'm not going to spoil it all because you need to go watch her. But you'll see her stitching Mill Hill kits and Dimensions kits. Heaven and Earth Designs, um, she stitches, I think she's stitching Pandemic, she loves to stitch smalls, um, like from Cross Stitch Magazines, and she just has a lovely personality. She's from the UK, but she's currently living in Sweden, and she has pet shrimps in an aquarium, so I think you ought to go check her out. Um, her taste in stitching is a lot like mine, so I think if you like her, if you like my channel and you're here watching me, then you'll probably enjoy her channel too. So uh, she also reached out to me and said she was going to be starting this Riolus Blue Jay kit, and in uh, January, as her New Year new start, and wanted to know if I would like to stitch along with her. And of course, I think that January 1st is the most perfect time to stitch this lovely winter scene. And I've been dying to work on this. As a matter of fact, it was one of the contenders for uh, my maybe stitching in November or December. And But I have quite a few contenders for that. So yes, this one, it kind of takes this one off the table, which I'm happy about. So this one has now been pushed back to 
January 1st, 2022, and I think it will be perfect. And we also uh, have another stitch along plan. Oh, I should probably say if you, I know somebody had reached out to me and said they had this kit too, at least one or two of you. Um, if you want to start yours on January 1st, if you haven't started it yet, um, I don't know. We haven't like come up with a hashtag or anything yet, but I'll, you'll hear more about it as we approach that. But um, if you maybe want to stitch along with us and you'll have, you have plenty of time to pick up this kit. It's 1925 is the number, uh, Riolas, and we also have uh, tentatively planned, well, no, I, I think it's not tentative, I think it's definite that we're going to both stitch our uh, Dimensions kit called Cafe by the Sea. We both have that. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Had a little frog in my throat, so... I put you on pause, took a drink of coffee, and swallowed wrong, and then had a some type of laryngeal spasm and was coughing, coughing like crazy. <laughs> and I still feel like I need to cough, but okay. Back to where I was. Uh, we were going to, we are going to start Cafe by the Sea um, by Dimensions, another big one. I have no business starting another big Dimensions kit because. Um, for all of those out there that I'm doing, that I'm doing a stitch along with, <laughs> yes, I'm just adding more stitch alongs. I, I need to start writing down all these stitch alongs I'm doing because, um, I definitely think the term for me definitely falls under the, um, start along versus stitch along because I love to start along with people, but I rarely ever finish <laughs> my start alongs. Okay rambling um cafe by the sea dimensions we are going to both start ours in april her birthday's on the 16th she's going to start hers on that day my birthday's on the 20th so i'm going to uh, trail behind her a few days and start mine and i really need to focus on getting some of my works in progress done by then really need to get that one that i've been stitching since 2011 the Eagle's Majesty. I need to get that done. Yeah, I feel much better about starting another Big Dimensions kit if I uh, finished one, but spoiler alert, I might be starting even yet another one in November. But we'll talk about that in November's vlog, even though this is November. And it is kind of seeming like this vlog is never going to end. But it is, I promise it will end soon. Um, what else to talk about briefly? Um, I was looking for something to stitch the other night and, um, I had finished the cross stitching because, so, like I said, when I watch TV in the evening with my husband, um, I can't do beading because I'm usually sitting in my bed and beading in my bed is not a good idea. I surely will end up spilling them all, especially because... I don't use the magnetic bead holder. I just use my little tin there with um, my uh, bead mat inside there. And, oh, I should just tell you, inevitably somebody usually asks what I have inside my tin. And, oh, I have my beads, but it's it's this, um, I think it's either beadsmith or bead long, but it's really soft. It's almost like a velvet. It's like just this little mat. Can you see it's moved? It's kind of just plushy. So it's not sticky at all, but the beads... They just uh, sit really nicely in it and they're easy to pick up because it's almost just like this little soft little velvet pad in there. So anyway, I was looking for something to stitch and I didn't want to start something new and I remembered that I had started this Mill Hill kit last year, I think when I was doing my, uh, what was it, uh, Flossoween, is that what we were, what I was doing? Um, last October when I was stitching all the mill hills and I think at the end I was just kind of done and I started this one but I only had about five or six stitches in it and so I went and dug that out and ended up putting a few stitches in that. Let me show you where I ended up with that. So just the other night I went ahead and put a few more stitches oops, in that. And in that time, I made two mistakes. So, one of the, this gray color right here, 
I ended up doing the wrong gray and so I went back over it with the darker gray. I didn't bother taking my stitches out. I just went over top and then I ended up doing the same down here because I was the lightest gray that I was supposed to use in the middle. I ended up using on the outside and so then I had to go on the outside over the stitches. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's a hot mess, but <laughs> it's going to look good in the end because in the end, the beads really just kind of cover up all the flaws and that's really all you see. But this is cute and um, I won't finish that before this vlog is done. So even though I said I wasn't going to leave you on a cliffhanger, I will because, well, if you think about it, floss tube is always a cliffhanger. So you'll see that finish in next month's vlog. And beyond that, the only other thing that I worked on briefly, we're talking very brief, briefly, is I worked on this just a little bit more. And the only reason that I worked on it was because uh, I was thinking about putting it away because I just wasn't feeling this one anymore. And I remembered that I had made a mistake somewhere around here. I left it with a mistake. And I don't like to put away my projects when they have a mistake because I just don't want to forget that I have that mistake. So I thought, well, I'll fix the mistake before I put it away. And I ended up having to frog most of this stem and some of this that I had done down here. So I fixed my mistake, restitched it, fell in love with this project again, and continued stitching. And I ended up filling in pretty much everything on the from this stem over. So... I ended up filling in just some like some of the leaf I think here and this background and this leaf and then some of this so and I was looking and there's you can kind of see the outline of a leaf right here but then this little spot right here is the handle of the wheelbarrow so every time I say wheelbarrow I can't say that word I always want to put an L at the end like wheelbarrow because I think that's what I used to call it when I was a kid so it's wheelbarrow but it's just a weird word for me to say. So the wheelbarrow handle <laughs> starts right there. And as a refresher of what this is going to look like, I know you don't need a refresher because you have been, you just saw it, you know, in the course of this video, but it's actually been a while since I've looked at it. So let's look at it again together. All right, so maybe I was wrong. Okay, this is the leaf that I was showing you the outline on, so the handle isn't right there, but the handle is right there. Very close. So if I can just stitch this leaf and get to this handle, then I can start stitching the wheelbarrow and get over to this really fun part over here. So should I work on that in November? Oh, I don't know. I have so many things I want to... Oh, when I just think about... The things I want to work on in November and I want to start Christmas stitching. I'm so in the mood for Christmas all of a sudden. But I'm not going to talk too much about this now because uh, I need to get this vlog going. I need to stop circling the landing strip and I need to land this plane. That metaphor was for you, Leah Noel. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to get to stitching. I'm going to get to my beading and get this video uploaded. Oh no, I can't upload it yet because as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pop in one last time and show you all six of the sugar skulls in all their sparkly glory. Here we are later the same day and I have all my skulls to show you, all my finished skulls. And this is a project bag the back of a project bag that I thought was kind of appropriate for uh, what I'm getting ready to show you. So let's show you, I think I've showed you the first three, correct? I think so. So let's show the final three. This one is the purple one. I don't think I showed you this one yet. Ooh, I thought the sun was going to help me out here, but maybe it's going to be too glary. Um, this is Murado. Let me try to get it so it's not so glary. Um, and it's got the cute little skull and crossbones charm and the beaded chain, purple. And it's just lovely. Turned out so fantastic. 
And then I did, let's see which one did I do next, I believe. Well, I sort of simultaneously stitched these next two. I kind of did the, all the cross stitching and then kind of went back and did some of the beading. So this is Naranja. Get a little close up there, the pearly whites. And the little charm. Smiley face charm and the beaded chain in orange. And last but not least, we've got Verde. Let's get that little star hanging there. Hanging a little crooked. All right, and yes, this is the one that I just finished up this morning. Let's get a close up of it there. Can see all the beads, and we've got a green beaded chain there. So I am so excited to have uh, got these all done. Uh, let me go ahead and lay them all out for you, so we can we can look at them all. Okay, I turned my project bag over, so it's not so distracting, and now you can see all of them together. So cute. All right, well, uh, I did want to also say really briefly that I sort of cheat when I do my mill hills these days. I, um, instead of using three strands, that it usually calls for three strands, but instead of using three, I only use two so that I can do the loop start. And when it, so they recommend using a half stitch to attach the larger beads and a full cross stitch to attach the smaller ones, the petite beads, and I use a half stitch to do them all. And it's much quicker, and I don't think you can really tell in the end. So if you're like me and just want to get them done quicker, if you want to do it accurately, then follow the instructions, but if you want to do them quicker, then, you know, I think doing them, attaching all the beads with a half stitch doesn't make a difference. The only time it does make a difference is, like, the teeth. Okay, so when you attach them with a half cross stitch, they lay at an angle. And so when I did the teeth, I did, it, I did attach those with a full cross so that they were, uh, they laid straight and not at an angle. So I kind of think that was important for the teeth. Not that it's important to have perfectly straight teeth, but you know, I am a dental hygienist, so when given the opportunity to give something straight teeth, well, I will take it. But beyond that, uh, yeah, it's just a quicker tip if you're like me and want to get them done quick. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say before I was done. Let me pause while I think about it. Well, I couldn't remember what I was going to say, but um, I think I might, if, I'm not making any promises, but um, if I actually take a shower and get myself looking presentable, I might get in front of the camera for a change and film an intro and an outro to this vlog. I'm not making any promises. We'll see. The day might just get away from me and it might just be more important that I start editing this and getting it uploaded. Um, that being said, that'll give me a chance to think about uh, what else I was going to say because I just know I'm forgetting something. Maybe you'll see my face after this. If not, I guess I should go ahead and end it here and say that you'll see me. Yeah, I'm not making any promises, but let's hope you'll see me one more time before the end of the year. Okay, all right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, I will either see you in a minute or I'll see you in about a month. Okay, bye guys. I forgot to talk about this. I'm knitting a chunky blanket. Uh, I have a friend who um, had another friend that wanted to learn how to knit a chunky blanket, and so she had a little uh, knitting get-together, and she said she would go ahead and order us some yarn and these big, fat, look at these big, fat knitting needles. And so I got together with her, and we just, um, there was a couple of different ones to choose from. We decided to do the the ribbing, the two, two knit, knit pearl, two pearl ribbing, this is the yarn that we're using. So we're not using, I don't think, the one that it, the actual yarn it called for, but we're using this Red Heart. I think it's a wool acrylic blend. And I picked the color online, and it was supposed to be taupe, but 
it uh, when it arrived it looks definitely more like an army green so I'm not loving the color but this thing is so yeah you can kind of see so um, we only cast on 26 stitches so it's sort of narrow but it's gonna be more long and narrow but yeah this thing is and you can see these stitches are fat and it's heavy and it's uh, a bit a bit um, it's it's more kind of like wrestling an alligator but it's fun I'm always up for trying a new craft and so there I got myself a, a chunky blanket which will probably end up in my son's room because um, I think army green is probably more to his liking than it is to mine and yeah so fun <laughs>